a sudden we find out that David failed, messed up. He'd been known a king. He slew the lion, the bear. He slayed the giant. But yet, you mean to tell me he messed up? Yeah. But you know what? He got back up. Come on. I was raised in a very classical, very strict wholeness background. And I'm not saying anything negative about what I'm going to say. But you mess up one time, psst, that's it. You ain't back in the doors of the church. There'll never be no hope for you. So you you raised, been raised in that type of environment. There's a lot of stuff you got to come out of. Come on. There's a lot of stuff you've got to understand. They didn't read all the Word of God. That said, for all, all have sinned and come short of the glory. That includes all of us. I got to say, bless God, I never made no mistakes. You just did. Uh -huh, you just did. Come on. For all have sinned. David had been anointed a king and done all of these great things. Messed up. But yet, he got back up. He knowed the key still unlocks doors. He knows that if I use that key, he used it. And what did God write about him and talk about it? He's a man after my own heart. Come on. Today things may have been shattered. Things may feel like it's over because of yesterday. Of things that has been done. You can't change what happened yesterday, but you can sure change right now. And not keep looking back. And your destiny is calling you, come. Come now. But yet your past keeps telling you, you a failure. You can't do it. Why would a God like we serve love somebody like me that's messed up, made mistakes? Come on. It's because of his son, Jesus. <laughs> the blood that was shed, my God, that took a less likely to succeed a nobody. Like me. That was down with no future, but raised somebody up. Say, I'll give you a life of eternity. Today, God loves you so much, cares for you so much, that no matter what they may be saying about you, less likely to succeed. You that have Christ in you, you're anointed. And there's nothing the devil can do about it but keep trying to get you to focus on the negativity. But God's saying, don't focus on that. Focus on who you are in me. Come on, in Christ, the anointing. David was a nobody, but still understood when I praise God, I'll raise God, and he'll come on the scene.